day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling. All right, YouTube, just want to throw together a quick video here reviewing some of the bass knobs that I've used recently, uh, some of the features, uh, some of the things I like, some of the things I don't like, and uh, you know, overall, which one I prefer to run on my system. So again, you can call them bass knobs, level controllers, sub boosters, whatever you want to call them. Basically, they make your stuff louder or quieter depending on where you put the knob. So without further ado, here we go. All right, YouTube, so here we go. Just a quick overview of the knobs I'm gonna be reviewing from left to right, from least expensive to most expensive. On the left, we have the tried and tested Pack LC1, which I know a lot of you use. In the middle here, uh, which is moderately priced, we have a DS18 level control knob with voltage meter. And on the right, I have a custom built Slam Panda uh, control knob here, which is absolutely beautiful. And I'm gonna be going over all the features, uh, just a quick overview as far as what I like, what I don't like, and uh, which one I prefer. So let's start with the Pack LC1. All right, guys, so Pack LC1, this is probably the most popular out of all three. Uh, this is also the cheapest. Um, I got this for under 10 bucks, but you know what? For the price and for what you're buying it for, you just really can't beat it in all honesty. The knob is very, very smooth. Um, some uh, level controllers, uh, you know, the knob is loose and it can vibrate, um, you know, lower or higher depending on how much bass you're running. But this one has a nice solid feel to it. What I also like about it too are the RCA cables, you know, are well over a foot long. Uh, some of them have shorter cables, which, you know, can make the installation look ugly and, and not very tidy. But this has very nice long cables. And again, the gain curve is absolutely spot on. Um, no valleys, no peaks. It's just a nice consistent slope as you turn it up and turn it down. So um, overall for the price, you just really can't beat it. So LC1, check in the box. All right guys, so the next one I'm gonna be reviewing here is the DS18 uh, level control. It is a very nice unit. Obviously you can see on the front there, you have a built-in voltage meter, which is blue uh, when the lights turn on here. Uh, what I also like about this thing too is on the side here, you got a little bit of an adjuster. So you can adjust the voltage to match perfectly the voltage you're reading at the battery with a multimeter. And uh, you may need to adjust it because as you can see, the cables here are very small gauge. That's one little negative. And if you run that same gauge, you know, pretty far, you're gonna get a voltage drop, but they compensate that by allowing you to adjust it. So you can have your voltage match perfectly what you're reading at the battery. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, the knob itself is actually very fluid, very smooth. Um, it feels almost similar to the Pack LC1. Nice slope, nice curve, um, no valleys or peaks as far as the gain is concerned. And then one more cool feature is, as you can hear, when you, you can actually turn this knob off and you can turn it back on. Okay, and what that does is, if you look back here, all right, you got these cables, all right? One, you have a remote in and you have a remote out. Okay, the remote in obviously gives you power to the unit to light up your uh, voltage meter, but the remote out I thought was pretty cool because when you turn the base knob off, okay, that cuts power to the remote out. So in other words, you can control your amplifiers and turn your amplifiers on and off with this knob. So I thought that was a pretty good feature. The only thing I really don't like, and I don't know why they did this, was the RCA cables are incredibly short. They're about four inches long. Let me uh, bring out the Pack LC1 for comparison. And as you can see, okay, the Pack LC1 is gonna be a lot easier to install because you're gonna be able to run the wires and tuck them without you know, exposing all these cables. So depending on your installation, um, the Pack LC1 might be a, a neater and cleaner install. Unless you're not worried about the length of the cables, then you know this one I think is superior because the knob itself feels very similar to this, but you got the uh, benefit of a built-in voltage meter, okay? All right, guys, last level control I'm gonna review here is the Slam Panda custom built uh, control knob. It is absolutely beautiful. It's a piece of art, as you can see. I had custom blue LED lighting put in there. I had a uh, red voltmeter that I wanted installed here, and you can control it with the switch of a button there. As far as the level control, um, it feels decent. I don't think it's as smooth as the Pack LC1 um, or the DS18, um, but it does its job. Um, one big problem, though, is when I received it, uh, the, the pot, I think I got a bad gain pot in there because I was in communication with the guy, and you know it does happen, but unfortunately it happened to me. So what happens is all the way to the left, right, is max gain. And then as you go towards the right, it starts going into a valley where eventually the signal's completely cut out. And then you go a little bit more all the way to the right and the signal's back at full gain. 
So I definitely got a bad pot in there. Um, you know, the guy I'm working with him as far as getting it sent back and having him replace it with a new one. Um, but it's just unfortunate because it is a really, really awesome unit. And again, I don't hold it against the guy because, you know, things like that happen in production. You just never know. Sometimes you get a bad one. Sometimes you get a good one. So unfortunately, this time I got a bad one. Um, but uh, I'm going to send it back to him. I think he's going to take care of me. So um, definitely uh, uh, excited about that uh, to get this back working properly so I can really test it and see how it works. But what I like about it too is it has nice long one foot RCA cables and they're not cheap either. I mean, you can tell they're really, really good quality. Um, so overall, uh, definitely a great unit. I just wish it was working properly when I got it so I can give a fair review as far as how the slope sounds and how the gain actually um, you know, progresses from low to high. All right, YouTube, so we reached the end of the video here and I'm gonna expose which one I'm gonna be running in my system and it is going to be the DS18 and here's why, okay? Um, you know, this is a great knob. If you just want something basic, you don't want any other readings, you just want something that can, you know, cut your system louder or turn it down, okay? Very simple. Uh, this one is obviously a great choice if, you, if you're running a system where this is gonna be more applicable. The only reason why I'm not gonna be running this one, honestly, after trying it, not only is the not level not working, so I can't use it right away anyway, but um, you know, it's something you gotta hold in your hand and adjust. And if you listen to your system you know, daily and you're driving it, commuting and on the freeway, you, know, you don't wanna have to keep grabbing this and turning it up and down if you wanna adjust your level or whatnot. Sure, I can mount it somehow, maybe put some Velcro on there and just stick it to the side of my console or somewhere, but you know, why do that, right? I mean, this serves its purpose for what it is. Um, so you know, the day I build a, an awesome demo SPL vehicle, I'm probably gonna be running this one. So this will be tucked away nicely in storage once I get the one back that's fixed. For the time being, this is gonna be the answer for me. One, because I can mount it simply um, right there where it's easy for me to control. I got my voltage there. I don't have to hold it in my hand to actually adjust the level that I want. And the feature is nice where you can turn it on and off and you can either cut your amps off or any other accessory that you, you're running while you have your system going. So overall, this is the win for me. Again, you can get this for about 30 or 40 bucks. And uh, considering it has a voltage meter and all these other features, it really can't be beat. You know, with my installation I'm gonna be doing, these short cables really aren't gonna be a problem because I can tuck them and hide them. Uh, so yeah, guys, just wanna throw together this quick video for you guys. If any of you were debating getting any of these knobs, if anybody has any questions, make sure to comment. And I always get back to comments um, as soon as possible. But uh, make sure to subscribe, like this video, turn on those notifications, and stay tuned for future reviews and updates.